I'm really, really quite out. I'm out in just about every social circle in which I move, so I really don't make a secret out of being trans. If someone asks me, I'll tell them, and if someone doesn't ask me, I'll probably end up telling them anyway at some point. And you'd kind of think that being very out pretty much precludes people outing you, but no. There has been a surprising amount of times when I'll be talking to someone about being trans or about anything trans related, and then another person who overhears that will go, Oh wait, so it's true? Uh, sorry, what? You know, that you're, uh, that you're transsexual? Oh, uh, really, I prefer transgender, but yes. And so it is true. Because, uh, you know, when Brian told me, I thought it was a joke. <laughs> uh, no, it isn't a joke. Not your joke, at any rate. Uh, uh, anyway, who, who's Brian? Brian? You know, um, uh, he, he knows who you are. Evidently, he knows who I am, but I don't know who Brian is. Actually, I don't think I know anyone who's currently called Brian. Uh, Brian. Brian, you know Brian. He's, he's a second year in your faculty. I haven't been to my faculty in about two and a half years, and now I'm kind of glad I haven't. See, the thing is, I don't really mind people knowing that I'm trans. See, if someone said, yeah, Brian and I went to that event where you were a panelist on being trans, and then Brian was like, that guy is trans. Then I think, okay, that makes sense. Or if someone goes, oh yeah, Brian and I, we went to that play where you were naked, and then I was like, what the fuck? And Brian's like, that's a trans guy. See, that would have made sense. This instance happens to be a case in point where that was not how it went, because I later heard that Brian had pointed me out to this person in the street, at random, without any sort of provocation at all. If I have any sort of advice for allies and others, it would be, uh, it would be this. Most of the guys on this channel have already illustrated why outing someone is not a good thing to do, and reasons may include safety and privacy. Here's the thing. I'm, I'm very out, so people may think that compromises my right to get annoyed with people who inappropriately out me, and me saying um, that being out still doesn't give people the right to out me may sound a little bit paradoxical. However, Outing does, for me, often enough, come with misinformation, that's one thing. And uh, even when it doesn't, even though I'm out, outing me still has consequences. Even when someone is largely out, that doesn't mean that there aren't still inappropriate ways or inappropriate uh, settings or inappropriate reasons to out someone. I also, personally, uh, strongly believe that when someone feels the need to tell everyone someone else is trans, that means that they categorically cannot claim they don't have any problems with trans people. Why? Because if someone gets so enormously overexcited about someone's trans status that they feel they need to tell people and somehow cash in on its shock value in any kind of way, then deep down inside they do have a problem with trans people. Sorry, but it's true, they do. Even if it's only because the media has told them that that's an appropriate response to trans people, that is still a problem. Because it isn't an appropriate way to re react to trans people, or to react to anyone's personal story. My advice to anyone who does find themselves really eager to tell others or, or one other person about someone who is trans, who has disclosed their trans status to you, is to take some time to consider why you feel that way. Um, and, and whether that's an appropriate way to respond to someone sharing a piece of very personal information with you. I mean, certainly the particular outing that I talked about earlier wasn't a problem for me, because I'm, I'm out in just about every facet of my life. If, for instance, word had reached my work, it wouldn't have been a problem, because they already know. In fact, the guys at my work might be kind of confused as to why Brian would want to tell them in the first place. However, in the past, I have been fired over being inadvertently outed as trans, so outing someone does have consequences, and in some case, it can have very severe consequences. If, if someone is out to you, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are out in every facet of their life or in every social circle in which they move, and they may have very good reasons not to be. If someone talks with apparent levity about being trans to you, that doesn't necessarily mean it's no big deal to them, and so you can tell everybody else, no. If a person doesn't explicitly tell you not to tell other people, that still doesn't mean that you can. Unless a person explicitly tells you, and now go forth into the world and say unto all you meet, Lo, he is trans, for that is the way I wish to be known. Unless a person explicitly tells you that, then it might be a better idea not to act like they did. The thing is, people don't have the right to know that you're trans. They might act like they and everybody else have the moral right to know, but they don't. Because far more often than those kind of people would imagine, 
it really isn't very relevant whether someone is trans or not. If someone tells you that they are trans, they don't do so because you have a right to know. They are giving you the privilege of their trust. So it's really quite simple, just act accordingly. And that's really all the advice that I have on this topic, so I hope it helps.